Please do continue to enjoy your lunch as during this brief presentation. Over the last month, we have been kept on the edge of our seats with our very own steno mystery. After a grisly murder at the Court Reporters Library, the CSI national team goes on the hunt for not only the killer, but the thief of a steno machine worth millions. After many twists and turns, we learn that the infamous Alinda Nade, who played a part in the hijinks, also met her fate at the hands of the culprit. The time has come to find out who killed Alinda Nade and Bailey and stole the brevetype in the exciting conclusion of the CSI National Webisode series. You shaved. It's hot, Vegas. <laughs> That's right. Well, I'm glad Hardy Hard gave us his auction number so we can put a bid in on the brevetype machine and find the killer. But do you think that Bailey's boyfriend is the killer? He's definitely our prime suspect. But remember, the auction video mentioned an assistant. We want the big kahuna. That's right. And our big break came whenever we were interviewing the couple that was next to where Linda Nay got murdered. And they said they heard a lot of yelling in the room and something about Bailey and the machine. And then they heard a woman yell, that's not the deal. That's right. Remind me what you found out again. Well, Bailey and Linda were in on it from the start, even before Bailey started at the court reporter's library. But the brains of the operation has to be somebody else, somebody that both knows both Bailey and Alinda. Alinda went to New York to meet up with this third person, probably was there waiting when they got back from robbing a shorthand gallery. Something must have gone wrong, things escalated, and our mystery man ended up killing Alinda. Let's get settled in. I want to make sure we get this mystery man. I'll work with the local law enforcement to make sure that we get a warrant when we need one. I'll tell you, the court reporting community really looks out for each other. They've led us to a lot of important clues. When they sent us the information about the person they couldn't identify on the site who was trying to sell the brevetype, that gave us a really solid lead on finding the Steno thief. Well, I've got the computer all set up, so now all I have to do is wait, and when he makes the call, then I can triangulate where he's at in the hotel, and we'll catch the Steno thief. Look, he's making a call. It's tracking down to... How fast can you get us that warrant? Faster than a court reporter can pass the RMR. You got the warrant? I got it right here. Open up, it's the police. <laughs> no way. You're under arrest for the murder of Linda May and the theft of the prototype. You have the right to remain silent. But before we go, there are a couple people that want to see you. <laughs> Excellent work by the team. However, the CSI team could not have found that elusive killer. Ew. Do we have the death penalty? No. 
uh, could not have found this elusive killer without your help. We had many tips and submissions to solve the mystery. Would Michelle Davis Soriano, RPR of Anaheim, California, please come forward and receive your prize and iPad. Ah, it's my pleasure to present you this iPad 2 for your sleuthing abilities. Ah, stand here. Let's have a picture. Thank you so much. Glad you were here. I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling court reporters. We're not meddlers, we're accurate. <laughs> And here's the biggest shocker of them all. Elvis is bald. <laughs> That means it's in Philadelphia. 